don't know if I have enough room, but it's been a few days since I got something that's been on my list for years, a Variac. And here is how it works. Oops. Yeah, and so I have, this is a DC motor, so basically I very messily wired it up through this meter that shows me the current and a small Fulbright rectifier that I accidentally wired backwards first time and then connected to this thing it can be used for. Well, there are many things, but... You don't? Okay. Oh, it's too old. So, this is Nede. <laughs> Camera shy. I won't post this on YouTube. And this is a speaker. Oops. <laughs> that happened quickly. Oops. So, yeah. There we go. I just felt air coming from that. Foundry, hey, don't mess with that. I found another Mr. Dangerous Man is here. It is, I don't, don't put it on any of the contacts. Okay, please Wait. stop going through my stuff. That's, look, look at what all you got. Five pound transformer, logic circuits, do not mess with those. They're worth more than $100. Fan thing, Wait. horrible lighting. This is from a hairdryer. Actually, <laughs> I will. <laughs> Wait, it's a good motor. I'm going to show you. And full board rectifier. All right, that I made a diagram of. Just don't touch anything. You're in adventure mode. <laughs> no. Hello? There. <laughs> so, you guys are still doing this. Hello? Hello. That happens fast. Nah, very sensitive pennies. Here, put this. Recording now. This dog needs to go in. This doggo. <laughs> so these are the people. There's a vacuum motor zooming in. And it has not been tested. I'm going to use the Variac and the clamp meter to make sure that it's properly, that it doesn't draw too much current. I don't want to blow any fuses or anything. I have no idea what's going to happen. Sometimes I can predict the future. This is one of those times when I can't. Catch. Mom, where's the... Alright, if the doggo comes along, we need to turn it off. Hey, so, there have been some problems. This wire, uh, uh, that wire, is supposed to be connected to that wire, I think, and so I did it. Wait. Okay, yes, that's good. That is good news. Good. There are only two wires there. That should be fine. Alright. Uh... If it blows up, I guess we'll get it on camera. No idea what's gonna happen. Everyone is clear from that. The dog is inside. We have an AC amp meter. Power on. Nothing. You need a capacitor. Oh, there it goes. It is? Oh, yeah. yeah. Starting. There you go. Wow. It's, it's at 70 volts. Look at that. Yeah, it sounds pretty cool. like it's scraping on stuff, so I'm gonna turn you it off for now. Need some oil. Do you have? Oh yeah, you got a lot of oil in that shed. Uh, yeah, I don't want to use that oil. Why not? So it worked. I'm gonna fix some stuff up. Uh, let's unplug it before we touch stuff, even though Warp nothing's. Warp drive starting. Power on. Slowly. On. on. Full blast. And warping. We're at our destination. Ah, uh, sounds almost like a jet engine. It basically is. Basic. It basically is. I think jet engines might spin a bit faster once they're going, but the motors are. Hey, uh, right, basically, and, and very echo. I mean, I mean warp drive off.
So, thank you for these people and this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. The person who doesn't wear safety glasses properly, and the person who carries a knife and doesn't wear safety goggles at all. And me, who is the proper one of the three. Hey now. Um. This is extremely safe then. <laughs> extremely safe. Okay. All right. Feel nothing. Hey, blow up. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Recording. All the way up. <laughs> Look at how much it's moving. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, stop. You're at POTS. So I've done a few tests and this should be ready. This is the new motor. <laughs> yeah. Attempt at exploding a CD. I've always wanted to do this. Well, that'll be fun to see on slow mo. <laughs> it's still spinning. So you can see the uh, bolts slightly came off, causing the CD to wobble, and then it causing it to vibrate a lot. Which if we fast forward, then that eventually caused it to fall off, and... Alright, if it doesn't work this time, I'll probably just have to buy it. I've been lucky.
very, very lucky. If I run out of memory, hopefully I'll have a backup video. Oh, I left it on. Looks like it was cut with a vacuum cleaner. Test two. I think we're close. That's all we can find a poor Eddie. He's just glitter now. Just for fun, I put a stick on there. I don't know how well you can see that, but... This isn't as anticlimactic as my last several tries. Now, just for fun... Okay, 